this video, we're going to review how to make one of your pages a little bit different than the rest of your pages. So what I mean by this is, say you set a theme across all of your website pages. You do this by clicking on the palette icon, adjusting your font, your background color, your menu color to how exactly you'd like it to be. So every time you create a new page, this is the theme that will be across your entire website. We also have the ability for you to create your own preset theme or use one of our preset themes um, and it will just automatically adjust these settings for you on the left. You can always come in here and tweak, um, just kind of play around with what you like. But say you want one of your pages to be a bit different than the rest of your pages, maybe your home page, you want it to be have like a photo for the background and you want the text to look a certain way, but the rest of your pages you want to stick to the same old theme. First thing, you'll come in here and set that theme that you want across all of the pages, save and close, but then go to the page that you want to be slightly different. So mine's currently blank. And you want to highlight the body, the container, that middle part, just by clicking on it so we can get that highlight blue, how we have it here. Once I click that, I'll get this option on the right for decorations. You can change the background color, but I'm interested in making the background a picture on this page. So I'm going to click the add button and then I'm going to select an image I have some uploaded already but you could always upload one from your computer so I'm going to say I would like this one so it's made this picture my background but I don't want like six JFKs I want it not to repeat no repeat I want it to be in the center center of my page and I want it to cover the entire page like this you also have the ability to make it fixed on the page, which means that as the viewer scrolls down, they aren't seeing the picture scroll with them. It's just fixed onto the page. This is usually better if you have a smaller page with less content on it. But if the page has a lot of content on it, sometimes it's cool to set it to scroll because then the picture will kind of continue to scroll as your viewer scrolls down the page. So play around with it and see what you like if you want to go this route and depending on the content on your page. All right, so I've added this picture. Now I wanna add some text. So I'm gonna drag and drop a block of text right here, and then I can type in my text. But right now it's set to what my theme is, which is black text in the Courier New Font. But I want it to be a little different. Let's see. Okay, so now I can't see it because I've added this picture to the background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go into my font menu. I'm going to make my font, let's say Georgia. I want it to be big and I want it to be centered and I want the color to be red. All right, and I could even underline it if I want. Um, so what if I want to do something like that? Save, view. So now I have one page that looks like this. So now that it looks slightly different, I need to make sure that even though I've made it look different, I have the ability for um, my viewers to go from page to page. So an easier way to do that is by dragging and dropping an auto navigation bar onto the page. But some students like to add a little button that says enter site or something like that. So I'll show you how to add that. So we go to, um, I like to add a flex box. And then I like to go up to my navigation button and drag and drop that into one of my flex boxes. And I get rid of one. I just like the flexibility of using these boxes. And I'm going to type enter site. I'm gonna change the background to red. And then you could link it to your um, historical context page, whichever page you'd like to link your button to. And save. What if I want this to be center? Save. But it's kind of in front of JFK's face right now. So what if I want to add in um, some space so that it's not covering him? So I can drag and drop in some spacers to add some distance. So if we do something like that, all right, click save, view, 
okay and then i can add any other content like you need to put in if this is your home page you need to put in all the required home page elements let's pretend i have that okay then i click enter site and then it takes me into my regular theme that i set across the rest of my pages so that we can see that my home page is a little different but then all the rest of my pages are following that same theme that i set up in my site theme manager here so that's how you go about that process. You can play around with it, see what works best for you, but um, it's easiest to start with a blank page, highlight the body or the container, and then start playing around with the decorations, like I added the photo. You can add different colors, photos, play around with how the photos look, but that's how that process works on creating a one page that is slightly different than the rest of your pages.